everybody and welcome back to my Instagram live. I am in my bathroom. How exciting. I've got my lovely poster. I do have a doggy on the floor. Come here. So we have puppy friend today. We're babysitting. And I just thought you guys might be interested to see what I got in my body shop event that I went to. So I went over with my mum, um, it was a vegan pride event, not too many people turned up which was quite sad, I think everyone was fucked off like to the beach <laughs> to be honest, um, but the staff there were really really nice in the Brighton store and I got a goodie bag and I got, well my mum got a hand massage from one of the staff members there, um, got some advice from people um and i also got to take home loads and loads of food which was really really nice because it was just before payday and i didn't have enough money to have a good de <laughs> have a decent dinner um don't ever be afraid to just take freebies and not milk it but make the most of it try and like see the positive in it but anyway first of all so it came all in this Forever Against Animal Testing pink makeup bag with little bunnies on and I thought it was really cute and I'm probably going to use this for all my bath bombs or like all the little samples that they gave me. Um, just opening it up on a creaky bit of floorboard. So I got a £5 off code when you spend 20 I'm not going to show you because I might want to use that. Um, I've got a free makeup consultation so that one would just be like seeing my skin type and then foundations and things like that which was cool I then got one of these which I was a bit confused about to begin with but I think what you do is you basically take off the little like pads and then what it will do is it will let you know what skin type you have and then obviously from that you can go on how to look after that part of your skin and it's for <laughs> it's for your forehead your nose your cheek and your chin because obviously different parts of your face are different things and then just a little promo leaflet about their body yogurts right so i actually they're 20 percent off on this evening as well so anything you bought there you got 20 percent off and then you got the goodie bag with it so i bought the strawberry soothing face mist this stuff i'm telling you ignore the fact that i've got no makeup on at the moment by the way apart from like mascara oh, this stuff smells like strawberry pick -and mix sweets um it just it smells amazing um it's makeup safe so you can just pop it on over the top of your makeup to set it or before if you want a little whiff of strawberry throughout the day <laughs> um seems it never ends i got a strawberry gel lotion that was inside um the bag so this is all stuff that's inside now um so i got a little strawberry gel lotion again can't open it i'm gonna like smells amazing this one i would say typically smells more like actual strawberries if that makes sense like the other one was a bit more of an artificial strawberry this is like or as deck says it smells like cow pole and then in terms of face masks um i got so this is just the british rose plumping mask i did get this one and an oats one but my mum isn't a massive fan of rose so we did a little swip swap through so I got a couple of those. I did also get the Drops of Youth face cream, but I've been using that. So I haven't got it here, but really, really nice as well. Then onto all the samples. So we got a Moringa body scrub. That one I've never used before and I'm excited, but I like the other body scrubs that they do. Got a Rose body yogurt. Literally, their rose scented stuff. My favourite. I use their rose body butter as like a face cream, and I know that's not what you're meant to do, but 
it smells so good um next we've got carrot cream and i think this is the carrot cream cleanser i'll try it out i think it is if not if it's moisturizer and i wash it off then who cares this is a peel so this one is the vitamin c peel i think or it might be a different peel but i've used it a couple of times and it's really cool because when you put it on your face you can literally see all of the um all of the skin bits just coming off it's quite satisfying not gonna lie and then i've got a rose shower gel which i'm excited for um I quite like these pots to be honest because they're really useful for taking on holiday or if you're going like for a one night trip somewhere or if you just want to jump in the shower with like a little bit of shower gel and kind of portion it out perfect i also use them as like little eyebrow or eyeshadow um pots afterwards because sometimes when i want to dye my hair and my eyebrows i dye them with like a little bit of dye that i mix up in one of those that one ah so the other one's the this one is the cream the carrot cream moisturizer and this is the carrot wash so this is the one that's the cleanser the one that you wash off so i've got that one as well apparently it smells a lot like carrots and i haven't smelled it yet let me give it a sniff Ooh. It does definitely smell like you've just shoved your face into a green grocer's carrot bag. But not in a bad way. I quite like that earthy, gingery carrot smell. It's kind of got a bit of a ginger hint to it. Um, then I've got the strawberry body yogurt as well. And then another one of the rose shower gels because my mum doesn't like the rose stuff and she was throwing it all at me. Um... I did also get the Cactus Bloom body yogurt, which I've been using on my legs because they've been pretty dry. And that's been really, really nice. It kind of smells really fruity, florally. It's kind of, okay, not fruity, but like sweet floral. It's very strange, but it does kind of smell like cactus. I don't know how they do it, to be honest. Um, but yeah. That's everything I got in my little little body shop against animal testing bag. Um, and it was a really fun event. And if your local body shop are ever doing any of the little like body shop 20% off events or like nights to get people going, I'd really recommend going um, just because even if you don't get anything, there's like little freebies. Um, normally you can meet up with other people that are really into the same kind of stuff. So I met a couple of vegan bloggers when I was there um food and then you can also have a nice chat with the staff and they can go over everything more like one-to-one -one rather than being really busy in the middle of a shocking day but yeah i was gonna get alfie to say goodbye but he's he's fucked off with his treat somewhere <laughs> anyway thank you bye